so tell me, uh, so I, I'm online right now and I'm moving things mm -hmm. around. I'm actually recording this. So is it recording the audio through the telephone? And is yes. there a VOIP option on this? No VOIP, VOIP option currently. Um, you can use Skype if you want. So okay. you have the Skype button right there. And if you click that, it actually loads up. Yep, um, I saw that. It, yeah, and dials MeetingBurgerConf, which is a username and not the physical conference line. But the conference line itself is actually built in uh, through Amazon Web Service. It's something that's patent pending right now that we have. So we're typical companies who will go out and get a data center. Uh, we actually, you know, muck up the audio with the video that's coming through Amazon Web Service. So that's your data. Okay. Into. So I'm, there, there seems to be two parts of this. So there's the web page where I'm seeing the webcam right now, and then there's the Java that gets downloaded. Mm -hmm. That when I pull that up on screen, I mean, I, I can see. Well, it's saying that screen sharing is paused. Correct. So you can. There's a little click box there uh, yeah. that you non-minimize that if you want to just control it as a little dashboard. So but at, by default, when you click uh, Start Sharing, the applet goes down to your toolbar and you're sharing Got your it. whole screen. Or if you see where it says um, Share Entire Screen, um, you can click that and choose a custom region. Let's say if there was just one specific area you wanted to show instead of your whole screen. Sure. And so does the web page where mm -hmm. the webcam is on, does this need to be constantly open? If I shut down this window, what happens? If you minimize, if you shut it down, then the meeting is done. If okay. you minimize it, so minimize that whole thing, and let's say pull up the PowerPoint. Yep. I'm still seeing your webcam on the left side, just like you have it, yep. and uh, and I'm seeing the whole host, host platform. I would see whatever's on your screen if you minimize it. Okay. So the 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 control of this is happening through the web page itself. So mm -hmm. it, whether that yeah. web page is sitting on the front or the back doesn't matter. So when I pull up a new page, Google.com, um, it's just going to sit in the background and it doesn't make any difference. Correct. Yeah, I'm looking at Google.com right now, no problem. Awesome. <laughs> so how are you going to make any money? So our goal is to, you know, I hate using the, the word freemium, but our goal is to have about 95% of the folks that use this never pay a dime for it. Okay. And uh, the other 5% that want to do 1,000-person meetings, large meeting rooms that are on the enterprise side will, will pay. Um, and our goal is to have a software platform that's better than anyone else's, um, has more features, and is at a price point that you just can't deny. And so that's really where we wanted to uh, – to I'm in the market. And one thing that I saw you haven't activated that I would love you to check out is our analytics platform. Um, our goal with that was to give real-time feedback um, to not only the, to the host, um, but also at the end you can see where your presentation may have lagged. So your actual attendees get to vote hot or cold or engaged or not engaged as content is coming through and rank that. Up. And so actually I'll show you a nice little feature right now if you've got a second. Sure. Go down to my name underneath uh, yours in the participants and click my little avatar. Okay. Clicking your avatar. So what you've just done is give me control of the screen. Nice. And it's still recording. Still recording. And I'll show you what the analytics platform looks like. Because I have a meeting that we did. One second. You should be seeing my screen now, correct? I am. I believe I'm seeing your screen now. That is perfect. Do -do. Let's take a minute to pull up, but it'll okay. show you the what we call the meeting burner um, temperature report. And so it's our full analytics back end after you're done with the actual webinar. So it has the recording which it's pulling up now. As you can see here on the left hand side, it shows you the amount of and that attendees, shows you the average temperature of the actual room, your hottest 30 seconds, coldest 30 seconds, where in the country everyone attended. But the coolest part for me 
is the heat map right underneath. So as you can see, we have the, the line going through which shows us the different levels of feedback we received. And also it shows us there at the blue, that's the coldest part of the meeting, right? So you can see that people lost interest at that point. And so well, how, is it, how are you taking this temperature? What, what, what's being polled? What's being looked at? Sure. So if I'll actually start a meeting inside a meeting, we're, we're going into, uh, what was that movie? With uh, uh, the, the stupid dream movie that just came out a couple years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dream with uh, Inception, no. Inception, yeah. We're, we're doing Inception with meetings. Um, what we have is what we call the meeting burn, the temperature gauge, and you'll see it at the bottom here when it pulls up. Because we're doing a meeting in a meeting, it's running a little slower than normal, so I apologize. That's okay. See there right at the bottom, meeting temperature? It's getting there. Hold on. Yep, I see it. So that's hot and cold. So I always say that it runs on a plus five. So where it is right there in the middle um, is zero. And so as your attendees are listening, let's say you, you say an absolute great tweetable quote and they love it, they can either click on hot or move that slider bar plus five. So it goes, you know, zero, one, all the way to five, and then yep. negative one through negative five for cold. So your attendees are staying more engaged um, by actually listening and giving you feedback as it's going. And it's all anonymous, so they don't have to worry if they hate what you're saying, they're going to get in trouble, right? Um, and so is, so this, you, is this something you would encourage people to explain at the beginning of a meeting? You know, feel free to give feedback. It's completely anonymous. If, if what I'm saying doesn't interest you, go feel free to move it to cold. If, if if you're feeling like what I'm saying is great, feel free to move it to hot, that kind of a thing? Absolutely. Absolutely. I tell everyone to do it right before the, you know, as the meeting's starting um, to, to give the feedback. And uh, everyone I've talked to that's done them big and small loves the feedback. Um, they were worried at first, and the biggest question I get is whether or not it's distracting. Yeah. Uh, if people are trying to take notes or trying to pay attention. And it actually, what we found is it keeps people more engaged because you know you're sitting here listening to a meeting, maybe you're taking notes, and then your email goes off, or you know Twitter's starting to pipe in, and so you're you're start paying attention to that. Where if you're actually a little bit more engaged with this, you stay more engaged. You're taking notes, you're moving into the hot, and we find that they do it after sections instead of necessarily just statements. Sure, sure. You'll find after you do a five-minute spiel on a section that people will respond whether or not that was good or bad, and you can see that um, in some of the gaps here. Sure. Right. Uh, on the temperature report. So, you know, it's uh, it's it's something we've been working on, and and the way we've engineered this this analytics dashboard is that you know there will be more, let's call them widgets or more sections to customize as we move That's forward. That's great. I like it. Good. Good. Well, I, I'm obviously a huge go to meeting user, um, and have been one for years and years and years. But I mean, this looks really good, Chris. I have to tell you. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. And um, I'll show you how to take back your screen. Just okay. click my avatar again. Click and on your avatar? Back. Yep, and it will pull it right back to you. And then uh, pull up your little applet again, because that should still be in your toolbar. Yep. Little share app. And then hit Start Sharing again, and you'll start sharing. Just that easy. So if you had five or six people on a group call, or you were doing a training call, or doing some kind of collaborative work, you all could take turns going through, sharing your screen, and making comments. That's great. Well, listen, thanks for uh, – I'm assuming that was you tweeting at me. Absolutely, yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for tweeting at me, and uh, thanks for hopping on to this and showing me what it's like. I'm, if this records properly and we get a good screen recording, I'll pop it up on YouTube and, and push it out. That would be awesome. Chris, thanks. thanks. I appreciate uh, it, man. Look forward to talking to you later. Bye -bye. Okay, bye-bye.